hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's eki if the first time stopping by thank you so much today's video is a makeup transformation on my gorgeous model christabel if you love what you're seeing then sit back relax and enjoy while we go into the video so guys i love to work on a clean canvas so i always love to clean the skin before i layer in my products I'm cleansing using the micellar cleansing water from Miss Matic, so I will also be moisturizing our lips with the Norwich lip balm to keep our lips moisturized before I apply the lip products. And then I'll be moisturizing our skin using the Aveno moisturizing lotion. This just keep our skin moisturized and it doesn't leave the skin greasy at all so the next thing i'll be doing i uh, will be layering layering my primer so i use the pons primer to control oil and i concentrated that on a t-zone and i'm using the same brush i used earlier so then i'm curving up the dark circles underneath our eyes with the orange corrector from Ella girl pro concealer so i'm just blending that out using the beauty sponge from inno beauty i always use a damn beauty sponge when doing that next guys is foundation i'm using milani foundation in number 13 i'm using the flat brush to apply the product on our skin and then blend out with the beauty sponge i'm blending down to our neck because i don't want color demarcation and i'll blend that foundation to our skin seamlessly you can see how flawless our skin is looking already so guys i'm highlighting the areas that light will normally hit our face underneath our eyes our chin forehead and the bridge of our nose with early girl pro concealer in chestnut so guys if you've not joined the family yet please subscribe ring the bell beside it so you don't miss new videos and also subscription is free please give this video a huge thumbs up and leave a comment down in the comment section if you like it this is very helpful to my channel thank you and then i blended out with the same beauty sponge i used earlier in blending out the foundation my model and i were just gisting I, I i've actually forgot what we were gisting about she was just laughing all through actually she made me laugh a lot okay so you really need to take your time to blend out if not you'll be having creases under the eyes which when you set it will not be okay at all so i decided to pop in some lighter shade of concealer from milani in number 160 just to open our eyes a bit because she have a very small eye so i wanted that area to look more brighter next i set underneath our eyes using the sasha buttercup setting powder and the s pond i mix both of them for underneath our eyes for all the areas that i highlighted so guys i'm setting underneath our eyes using the beauty sponge it's still damp a little bit and it has that product so i like to use that to set all the areas that i highlighted so i'm setting the whole of her face with the v beauty palette um, powder in chocolate and then i contoured her face with the maroon and ebony powder from the same vbc palette next is the brows so i use the uh, brow pomade from blood cosmetics so i'll use this to outline our under brows and then i'll do the same thing at the top of our brows so guys i have a video on my channel on how to do makeup for the amatan season if you're not in nigerian i explain in that video in details what the amatan season is all about and if you're a beginner i have a full face makeup for a beginner so i'll be leaving the link down my description box so thank you for for checking that out next i'll be filling in my brows with the same brow pomade i use in outlining and then i'll be highlighting underneath the brows so i use the milani uh, concealer in 160 to highlight the brow bone and then i'll be using a close shade foundation to highlight the inner corner of the eyes and i'm also going to use it to highlight the top of the brows I blended out the concealer into our skin with a small blending brush and then I'm contouring our nose 
with the same powder from V Beauty in maroon so I just want to chisel that nose out a little bit I'll be priming a lid so I'm using the Benign Clown White eyeshadow base to prime her lid using a small flat brush to pack that product onto her skin and then I blended that out using a small fluffy blending brush to blend that seamlessly so guys next is eyeshadow so i'll be creating my eye look from the sb sparkle eyeshadow palette first i'm going into the nature nude eyeshadow for uh, transition color and then i'm blending that out with a small fluffy brush and blend that into the inner corner of our eyes and then i'm deepening the outer corner of our eyes with the bronze surface so i blended that into the inner corner of our eyes because i wanted that eyes to you know have some dimension and then i blend the edges with the first shade which is the nature node i use in our first transition so i blended the edges together so it will look flawless and seamless and then i went into that benign clown white again to give the lid color a base to stick on so i went into the gold brown for her lid color i went back with the brush that i use in picking the brown surface eyeshadow to blend the edges of the eyeshadow together so there will be no demarcation so i use the glitter primer from adian to apply that on the skin because i'll be going into the pigments from Tracy Bella okay so this pigment is heaven it's so so beautiful it gave me this frosty shine like it helped the eyeshadow to pop out even more so if you're applying the pigment sweep it along the surface just a little bit so it helps to even pop out the more so I went into the Dawn white eyeshadow the shimmer eyeshadow in the palette to open up our eyes just a little bit because of the way our eyes are small and then i i dust off the excess powder from our face and then i'm applying the lash from mismetic this is in the style olive so i'm smudging out our under eyes with the same eyeshadow palette i use for a transition color the nature nude and the bronze surface in the palette to so the next thing i'm spraying our face with the tea setting mist before the setting mist dries down completely i'm going to be using the noban beauty the glow palette to add some glow to our skin i use the star stroke and the basil in the palette i don't know if it's basil or dazel i'll be leaving the name so you correct me down in the comment section i use the purple dust in the eyeshadow palette as my blush so now i am using this purple lipstick for her lips i've got this um, lip shade for a very long time so i can't even remember what the name of the lipstick is so guys this is it for the final look okay guys i know that a lot of you are as stylist the hair might not look the way it should because things actually went sideways for the hair so we were left with the option of using this particular hair so i am so so sorry if the hair did not come out the way it should thank you so much for watching this video if you find or got any value out of this please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up leave a comment down in the comment section and do not please forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get all notifications thank you so much for watching stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys